for real. Hey YouTube, it's your girl Dark and Lovely and welcome back to my page. I want to say <laughs> what it do to all my new subscribers. You're now part of the, the Dark Knight squad. You have now been knighted, okay? And I want to say hello to all my old school subscribers. You know I love y'all. I do this for you. I do this Today's video is basically going to be a rundown of a couple of terms that you should know if you are a sister locker, if you have sister locks established. I feel like there's a couple of terms that you should know and somewhat understand. So I'm going to give you the best example of a definition that I know of these terms. We're going to go over two terms today I, because those are the only terms that I have that I can show you examples of my hair. Okay, those are only two terms that I have examples of in my head. So those are the only ones we're going to go over today. If there are more terms you want me to go over and I will find examples of them on the internet, please like up the video and, and leave a comment down in the comment section. Okay, so the two terms we're going to go over are buddy and marry. Now there are a couple of different budding terms, but we're talking about sister lock terms only. They're the same thing, but they occur a little different when it comes to sister locks because of the technique the sister lock TM established in which the consultant that installs your hair, what she uses. So the terms are kind of spread across the lock community, but in regards to sister lock, I'm gonna go over the terms in this form of lock, okay? So we're gonna go over buddy first. Buddy in sister lock terms can mean a couple of things and they can start in a couple of places. Depending on how your sister locks were established, budding can occur at different points in your sister locks. And honestly, I have budding in two places. I have no budding on some of them, but they're those little tiny balls that are at the bottom of your sister locks. And some people are like, what are these little balls? Do not pull the balls off. Hopefully your consultant told you not to pull those little balls. Now all the balls are not always securely attached to your lock, so they may fall off in washing, in styling, don't worry. But some of them are really attached and some of them are really large. Now I've had a couple of small ones and I've had some large ones, which are examples that I'm gonna show you in this video. I have some really large ones and I have some really small ones that just came off during a retie. No big deal. It, it's not a major deal to pull them off, but at the same time, why mess up something that ain't broke? Now basically what that is, that's the loose ends of your hair at the bottom of your lock, locking. It's like knotty, and that's what it's doing, because with sister locks, our hair locks from the bottom up, not from the root down. So that is the hair starting to lock up, and what it should do is it should suck back into the lock <laughs> and basically start forming its lock. So that's kind of like the membrane of the lock, and you should not pull it off. Now, depending on how your sister locks were established, I've seen some sister locks where they're literally established all the way down to the tippy tips of the end of the shaft of the hair, of the braids, all the way at the end. As you can see with mine, I have a lot of loose ends. So a lot of my buds are literally at the bottom of my hair, and a lot of them, I, a lot of my locks, I don't even have buds on the bottom. They're just starting to take form, the little balls. Now, certain hairs where they have a loose ends and they're not as curly, they're more loose, your bud could be like right here as opposed to being all the way at the bottom. It could be like up here, right here, and it could start locking all the way up, okay? And then after your locks have matured, your loctician may tell you that you need to cut off your curly two ends after your hair has officially locked, okay? So that's what budding is. And the next thing is marrying. Marrying can be two different things, but in sister lock terms, we're talking about when you're going to get a retie and all of a sudden one strand of hair all of a sudden just gets latched on to another lock. And all of a sudden, those two locks will start to form one lock. And you don't want that. You want to keep all your locks 
okay and with my hair because it is fuzzy and it's a looser texture in the front I have a lot of marrying going on as you can see it's just the little strands of single strands of hair that are just going like that and they're just basically trying to catch on to each other and because I have hand and hair syndrome it's kind of good because I'm always running my hands look see perfect perfect example of Mary okay I always have my hands and my hair so therefore it makes me break up that marrying sometimes sometimes I won't pull I'll just go like this just to break it up because I don't want anybody getting married and living happily ever after okay we're not gonna do this with my hair okay we're all single single and ready to mingle okay so if you're having marrying at the base I would definitely consult your consultant um, when I go get my hair retight she will go through with um, some shears and if I have any marrying at the base she will either try and get it unmarried divorced <laughs> you know by hand and if it's too like in-depth and they've already been dating and going to study for a couple of you know weeks or whatsoever you took my ties she will take the shears and she will actually snip it um, there you go I hope this video was helpful in finding some terminology you may come across when you are a newly established sister locker. If you like this video and you found it helpful, don't forget to like it up, subscribe so you don't miss any videos coming up, and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye. 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 Bye bye.